Okay, so we are back, back from my trip. We're back on the caddy. Just got a couple of things to do really before we get this ready. I am gonna go for a first drive at some point, but anyway, let's crack on. Um, so we had that issue last week where we had the um, actuator for the turbo swing up an error, a 2563 error, I think it was. Um, and we suspected the N75 sensor. So what I got here is a diagram because I said that the diagram will show us which pipe goes into where and you can see it clearly identified there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our N75 sensor out, which is back here. And then we're gonna trace these rubber pipe work to make sure everything is in where it's supposed to be. I suspect it might be plugged into the wrong pipes. Well, the only way we know that is by looking at this one and we can trace everything back to where it should go. So let me take that out and then we'll take a closer look at the N75. The N75 itself may also have failed because they are, uh, they are known and prone to failing. Um, and there's a couple of tests we can do with that. But anyway, first thing we need to do is get out. So we'll go and do that. Right, so we've got our N75 off now. So we can now can trace where each one goes. So according to this diagram here, what it looks like is the top one goes to our air intake. Okay, so that's this one here. And that goes along here and that is going into our air intake. Okay, so we can see that one's correct. Our next one, which is the green, which looks like the middle. That is going into our, our actuator, our turbo actuator. So here is our turbo actuator. And here is a pipe that comes out of it. So this pipe here, turbo goes to the actuator. And that is going into the middle. Okay, so that's correct. All right. So yeah, middle. And then the bottom one, which is this one here, that goes along here, around here, along this pipe here, and then goes into our ends, our valve here. So that is the red one. Uh, that also goes into our vacuum feed here. We'll trace that in the middle, in the mirror, but it does go into this valve here, number three, which if we look on here is our changeover valve for radiator exhaust re gas recirculation. Okay, so that's what that is. And then we've got the blue one that then goes back and that goes into our, ah right, so that goes into our EGR valve. That's where that goes to. So that's this one here. And that does indeed disappear down the back and goes into our EGR valve. So that's our circuit. So we've got that. Uh, what do we need to check? Oh yeah, so we were checking, here is our vacuum pump. So this is what pulls the vacuum. And we can see it goes into our T-way and, and it does indeed go into this circuit here. So this is the one here that's pulling the vacuum. All right, and goes into the back, the bottom here and then this valve will control it. So I reckon if there's any issues, it's gonna be with the, e the N75 valve. So what we'll do, we'll put that back in place, but before we do that, I'm gonna take a note of the part number. And then if we get that fault come up again, then we know that it's the uh, N75 valve that we have to replace. So I got this from the old VW, the caddy workshop manual, the official workshop manual, and I've blown the picture up so we can see it, but that's basically what it looks like and all the component parts that are attached to it. All right, 
we're going to put that back in now and then um, we'll take it from there okay so we're outside now this van just needs a real good cleanup anyway we've taken out this monstrosity and I've figured out what it is this is a CCTV system here's one of the cameras for it here basically this person wherever he used to live was quite a rough area so we had a bit of a camera being action going on here all right we've got this door open but this lock is preventing this handle from opening I'm presuming that it's basically uh, causing the lock to stay shut so what I'm gonna do you can open it from the inside which is what I've done uh, but you can't open it from the outside so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the door card off here and I'm gonna see if I can um, get to it and then probably give it a little bit of a clean up because it's got a lot of mold in there we'll probably now's a good time to clean that up we we'll get the seat back in the other seat which is all cleaned up and then um, yeah do some other stuff yeah we'll do the other stuff all right this well, I'm glad we got all this out it's a mission to cut it out and I've still got to tidy up the wiring which is down here but we're getting there we're getting there oh and the handbrake I've got to put the end back in I'm hoping it just clicks in I have got one and I'm gonna get it and I'll see if it just plugs in hold on a sec all right here is the handbrake Let's see if it just goes on just clicks on does it click on nah it doesn't or does it oh do you know what it does there you are it just clicks on so hopefully I should just be able to lift that up yeah there you are that's sorted all right that's another job done glad about that because I had envisaged taking all that apart and that's something I wasn't looking forward to doing but that's another job done right door card all right so i've cleaned up all this area got rid of all the mold that was all there it was horrible Ugh, i hate that. cleaning mold it's disgusting why people let their vehicles get that bad i don't know anyway now we need to put in the seat so we're going to get this, the other seat to do that we have to put the frame in first and what i did with the frame was i gave it a bit of a paint job nothing pretty doesn't need to be so that goes in like that and then we just put them in place so what is that there you go so i think that's right let's have a look yep that's right so he goes in like that we bolt them in and then that is it that will be that another job done so i'll get those in and then we go and grab the seat and put it in okay seat is in it's coming together now isn't it starting to look good okay now i've taken the door panel off and i think the door handle is stuffed on this side uh, because i can't see what's holding it in but there is a screw there that's the mechanism for the key just there and um yeah not sure what's going on there but for sure it's uh, deadlocked we'll see what we can do with that one we're not worried about it at the moment in the meantime i think we'll just get the van back in the garage but before we do that let me just talk about some plans for the garage all right so garage clearly needs a bit of a tidy up after all the abuse we've seen with the vans etc so i've got to do a bit of a clear up and tidy up gonna finish off my cupboards and put some shelves in there and stack them nicely gonna put a row of cupboards at the top as well and then have a light shine now so we've got a proper workbench to work on stuff uh, the ramp well that's uh, doing its job it's lifted a number of cars and uh, included the caddy which is out there at the moment um, but yeah just a general sort of slight makeover before the next project comes in which is coming soon that's all I'm gonna say at this moment it's coming soon but I do need to get the caddy sorted first but yeah get those cupboards in there and then we can put got more place to put my stuff because i've got a lot of stuff okay and also yesterday my um 
facelift front cam for the ID3. This is the new front and in color. Got a few nicks and marks on it, but nothing superficial, nothing to worry about. But I'm um, just waiting for the bottom piece to arrive, which comes at the end of the month, and then I can look at getting that fitted and making the um, um, ID3 look a little better than the ugly front I think that it's got now. All right, let's get the caddy back in the garage. Okay, so some cosmetics we need to do on this one. So this light here is uh, broken. It's proper brook. Uh, so that needs to come out. Let's see how easy it is to get this out. Oops, that's, well that definitely broke, didn't it? Here we go. Interesting. Now, oh, let's turn some light on. If you're wondering why I've just pulled it out, I do actually have a brand new replacement. So that will go straight in there. Just trying to work out how it goes in. It right, looks like there's a couple of, I oh, just plugs into there. All right, so we'll get that sorted. And we need to take a look at the, um, I think I need to replace that N95 valve. So um, I'm gonna plug in my diagnostic tool and let's we'll just take a look at VCDS and see what it says about that. If not, I'll just order another one. Okay, so we just run VCDS again and what we can see is we can still see we've got that error there. Can you see it? P2563. Uh, so, um, yeah, that's the problem. We need to fix that. I'm pretty sure that that is going to be that N95. So I'm going to replace it and, and see what we can do. But I'm pretty sure the N95 is a cause of that issue right okay we'll leave that be uh let's go back to the uh, light at the back and get that fixed all right so the back of the light is literally just two screws that hold it in place so i've taken the two screws out and then we should have our cables at the end there which you can see so we're literally just going to lift that out and that should just slide out there we go so there's our cable we got our new light here, covered in some plastic as well. Some extra measures, and that should just slide in. And hopefully, pending these prongs going in okay, should just connect up. Give it a try. Yeah. Here we go, that's in. All right. And then we'll just take off some of this old stuff here. It's a little gunk. I should really be doing that with it. But hey, we're using this for now. Okay. And that should just go in there like so. And that's done in and there's literally just two bolts inside to to hold it in place two bolts in the back hopefully we can see them there's one where's my pill here we are So this is just two bolts at the back here and it holds it in place and then that is it job done there we go new light is in i did actually use new screws in the end because the other screws just weren't long enough but these ones they suit the bill perfectly cool all right well i don't think there's anything more we can do on this today um Let's have a little chat, because I have a dilemma that I need your help with. So um, let's go and have a chat about that. Okay, so I need your help, people. Um, I am on the verge of deciding which new vehicle I'm gonna go through. The caddy is pretty much done. There's a few things I need to do, MOT and stuff like that that you'll see me doing. 
but I'm likely to do those off com camera. May show it to you, it just depends. But I am now looking at my next vehicle that I'm going to buy. So it's gonna be a pride and joy project that I want to, uh, to engage in, but I just can't seem to make up my choice. Let me tell you the two vehicles I'm, I'm looking at. Number one is a TTRS, Mark II TTRS. Don't really care what the condition is because I'm gonna really do it up and, and, and just really go overboard with it, air ride. That's what I would like to do and even maybe a wrap and then make it a bit of a show car, but also a pride and joy car. That's option number one. Option number two is a Cayman. So a Porsche Cayman, the Mark II Porsche Cayman. So either a 718 or a 981 and then convert it into a GT4. I can't decide. I need you guys to help me. Which one would you prefer to see? The TTRS, which would have the works done with it because there'd be a much more budget to spend on it, or the Cayman GT4 lookalike. Um, yeah, so Cayman GT4, and then we convert it in Cayman 981 or a 718, and then we convert it into a GT4. I drove a Cayman GT4 uh, a few months ago, and there's a video coming up about that, and I was absolutely smitten with it. But the sound of a TTRS, there is no sound like a fire pot cylinder uh, engine, and it's a legendary sound as well. I just can't seem to let go of it, and I keep swapping between the two. So I need your help. So let me know in the comments down below. In fact, I might even do a poll. Yes, let's do a poll, and you tell me which one I should get. TTRS or 981 stroke 718 with a GT4 kit. You decide. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe and uh, click on the bell notification when you'll be notified whenever we release a new video and we will see you in the next one thank you for viewing uh, viewing even <laughs>